Well, hello, friends. This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail. American campaign with John Paul Jones. Sea battles hard and land battles hard difficulty. As you can see, I have 44 rep. I have 34,000. And currently, I have 888 captives. Now, if at the end of this battle that I do, if those get disappear, or if they get added to, then that's okay. But if they disappear down to whatever I capture in this battle, if I do capture any, and I lose those, then the game's ripping me off those. So I'm just letting you know that when I get to the harbor, I better have 888 plus whatever else I would capture. Otherwise, that's a bug in this game that they have not fixed yet. So next battle is Man of War. I'll follow the orders which keeps this as a hard campaign. Yeah, because I found out if you restart a battle, they will take away the, that 888 prisoners. So either way, that's some kind of bug. I have to load a save in order to keep those 888 prisoners. Now that's that I reported it many times and they, they they're not doing anything about it at the moment. But anyways, let's get back to the battle. I just like to bring it up because that's currently what's going on. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Um I'm gonna put the uh Hancock and that one. Those are the Bellanonas. I think this one's the Ardent. And then I got the fifth-rate uh, Indemon class frigates. Put both of those in, and that's it. Everybody else, I took off the ships, and I, I, I minimized all these units to put them on the ships here. So there they go. Here we go. Now this got a red zone. All right. So let's see. All right. So we got to capture that one, the Goodwill. And we have to capture Catherine. All right, so let's pause for a minute. All right, well, what I'm going to do is this little guy right here. I think if I just... Um, Turn that ship, uh, let's see, I'll turn him to, to there. I'll turn this one uh, to here. Now Rochester, I think it's going to need to get somewhere over here. And this one, this one too is going to need to get, I don't know, somewhere over here. So I'll just put that for now. And this one needs to go somewhere over here to get this one. So now we will go ahead and let it rip. And we'll see what happens. Now, um, <laughs> I don't know. I put these here because I thought he was going to come after me. And this is a... This looks like, what is this? A, is this a, a, is that a brig or um, bigger? And he's going out. Like, I've never seen an enemy warship go out of the battle. Look at that. I don't think I could have got him even if I tried. But... All right, I'm going a little too fast, so I think I'm going to have to slow her down, get it back to normal speed. 
Because what I really got to do is I definitely got to get this ship. Because if you look at this, Man of War, all must be fulfilled. We got to capture those two ships. Now, I don't know what... At least one must be fulfilled. I don't know what that is, but... I don't think you can win with one of these. You have to get both. I uh, hope we don't have to be um, perfectly lined up. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see. We're going to have to get going again. I mean, just the sheer 500 should be able to musket them to, to be, um, surrender or something. But whatever. We'll see. Now they're at shock at the moment. Uh, come on, let's just... Um, oh, good, good, we're boarding. Okay. So yeah, it's vital to get this one right off the bat. This is the easiest one to get. Alright, we got that one. Okay, so now I gotta direct my attention to the other one. Now, where is it? Oh, here it is, okay. Did I overshoot it? Okay, so now the Goodwill, I can send straight to the Red Zone at full sail. Now this one, the Finch can come over here if it can make it there. Let's see. But yeah, can you, yeah, 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 that's a direct route, I guess, or I could put them on an angle. I don't know if that would work better. Let me see. I mean, the wind's going this way, so it looks like actually... Why don't I put it right... Right there. Okay. Oh, oh, let's see. Yeah, I think I want that ship to anchor for just a moment. What, Catherine's so far away. Now the question is, alright, let's go fast. We gotta see, matter of fact, you go right over here. I gotta see where the Catherine is actually going. 
Now it looks like she's coming this way. Let her come to me instead of me going against the wind, right? Yeah, maybe I could even have the finch. Well, I don't know. Wait, maybe finch will go there for now. Wind's going like this way. bring the finch over here just in case that ship gets past me. Now I'm going to move this one and start moving him up. And he can shoot into this area here. Oh yeah, and I got to stop the fastness the hell okay. So yeah, if I if I put him here, maybe I could shoot at him too. Yeah, because it it looks like he wants to come through this way here. So um, yeah, this would be. He's going to go through two of my ships. Now, if he deviates, deviate, or deviate, <laughs> sorry, if he goes off this way, deviates, or whatever that word is. Like, he might, he might decide to go this way. Hey, and Goodwill is in the red zone. See all those rounds just bounce off it? Yeah, I'm just gonna see if he comes off this way, he'll be able to shoot and then I can come up here and take him out.
All right, we're going to pull him in. Okay, so the Goodwill retreated. So it looks like we got that one. Now we just got to get this one. Oh, oh boy, phase change, which always throws me off. Okay. Enemy warship sighted, Captain. It seems that you still have a chance for honorable glory or after all. We can attack the enemy or retreat and ensure the prizes which can be used for landing operations. Okay. So, first of all, uh, Catherine, no matter what happens next, Catherine has to... Find the red zone, which is right here. Okay. So Catherine has to at least do that. So now what I think is I can um, get my ships over here. And Catherine is doing about um, 6.4 knots. That's not bad. So yeah, even if I tilt her off that way to go a little bit faster, maybe she can go. Let's see. Yeah, it's weird. If you're going right with the wind, you seem to do less than actually going on an angle of the wind. Yeah, look at that. I turn her this way. She can get 6364. Six, 62. All right, well, we'll just go. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, these guys already got here. Holy, I wasn't paying attention. Darn it. That's, a, that's when you go fast, you know, you end up making mistakes. So now I'm going to go back to normal speed, <laughs> okay, because, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that was just outrageous. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, because um, what I want is all my ships together. This ship is momentarily going to be in here, so I think I will have both objectives. But I might as well, um, I do have ships, so let me put you over there, because you, I kind of want, um, you, I want over here. I just want to make a blockade, kind of, because the enemy um, is coming. All right, so now I have three ships that have decent amount on. These are all my third rates. And as you can see, I like I wonder how this one got hurt. Oh, because he crashed into each other. Yeah. Man, that's probably why. Yeah, they got damaged. Yep. Yeah, look, I lost the front mass on this. So, darn it. And this one, too. Oh, boy. All because I was programming the uh, transport to go in there. And I wasn't paying attention, and I had this going too fast. So, I mean, 
I try to do it fast so that pe people, you know, that you can see quicker, but whatever. End up goofing up. So that cost me the front ends to both of these sh uh, ships. Now I think um, if we go this way, we're going to go against the wind. So I got to see what these guys are going to do. Now let's go take a look at these while they're coming. I'll, I'll go a little fast. Yeah, it's a Bellinona. So that's a Bellinona. That's a Bellinona. And this is an Arden. So, and I have two Bellinonas. So my Bellinonas against their Bellinonas. And my third rate against their third rate Arden. And then I have these little ones. So maybe I should bring the little one over here. And this little one. Because, yeah, if they if they just decide to come this way, then at least these guys will have the win. Like, we can come along this way. So it's going to be a... It, it'll be a tough fight. I mean, it's equal. I'm, I don't... I didn't, I didn't bring no fire ship. Normally, in a situation like this, I would have one fire ship. To take out one, and then I just have to deal with two. But here... You know, I have equal ships. I mean... I ought to see how I can do, you know? Because if I can get all three of these... You know, I can sell one or two to... Hey, so Catherine retreated. So, yeah. All must be fulfilled. So, I did it. So, now it's a matter of run away from these guys or fight them. Yeah, I don't think they're going to... I don't... Uh, I'm going to stop moving these two. Um, I, I, I don't think they're going to do what I want them to do, so... I'll put this one right about there. Yeah, I, I think these three... can go where I have them, but... I might want these two t to come above them, you know, maybe. Because it, it, cause it, they might come over here. I don't know what they're going to do, actually. I think they might go after my two little ships, so I, I think I'm going to bring these guys... Like I said, I don't want to do any speed stuff, and I don't want to, because I, I just trying to feel the battle out at the moment. Like trying to think, maybe, like, yeah, because I don't know. It seems like they might be trying to turn, and I don't really. Uh, I'd rather have them come at me than me go after them, but it's like they go in me. So why don't I just? Anchor. Because we can still go this way if we want to.
No, man, I hate. No, 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 no. I just want you to shoot him. I want you to shoot him, not aim at him. Oh, come on, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Yeah, see, it's like they want to go past us. Do you think they're trying to go past us? Oh boy. Hey, I told this one to anchor. I want this one and this one up over somehow over here to get involved with them. Okay, so that one's doing that one, and I mean, I think the Hancock should be able to take this one. We got him down to 400.
Oh man, okay, you gotta... Uh, what I don't like is how these ships not lining up right. I mean, come on, do I have to go over here and then cut them in? And, okay, now, normally, I mean, I didn't tell the Dover to move, like, anchor it, please, but I, I, told, I told the Hancock to move, but the Dover is the one that's moving. Not good. Hey, and this one just gave up? Okay, oh, boy. All right, Rochester, uh, anchor. All right, now, how am I going to do this? Oh, uh, let's see. Rochester, uh, drop somebody out. I don't care who. Come on. Get over there. You get over there. Everybody else must anchor because you guys are all t too much together. Now this ship needs to turn. Alright, now the first thing is get over here. Come on, get over here. Man. Cox, you need to get this ship. Like this is a Bellinona. We need to get this. Come on. And he gave up. Like I was gonna have the Hancock move over here, but somehow Dover took the order and moved, which kind of screwed up everything. Come on, I just want you to grab this ship. I, I don't want to do anything else until you get this ship. We gotta claim it. Come on, claim the ship. Ah, yes. Look at that, there was nearly 500 on this ship that surrendered. So that should be 500 prisoners added to my 800 and something. Now this is a particular, you know, this is um, not working out for me. All right, look, can you, can you like somehow move away? And then, and then somehow you go that way. I mean, this is ridiculous. All right. Hey, Hancock, which way are you facing? Okay. All right, you can go over there. You can go off that way. Maybe you can go off that way. And you just stay there for now. Yeah, I can see. Like, I know he's going to get hit. I mean, like I said, if I lose this ship, it's okay. I'll, I'll just get... I'll, I'm going to get one Bellinola or two. I'm going to see if I can add both of those to my fleet. But now I just got to get this guy to get over here and this will be a done deal. Because I need this ship. I need the uh, rep that I'm going to get from it. So I can get those Bellinonas added to my fleet. So now it's just a matter of... Yeah, because, yeah, this is my other Bellinona. Okay. And this is an Ardent. 
The only reason I want it is to sell it for rep so I can I can get uh, another Bellinona added to my fleet. So, so come on, we gotta get it. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't retreat into the red zone that I fought this. And this is why I overload my ships, because I want to be able to capture ships and, you know, I don't spend a lot of money putting the best guns on ships. Uh, because, you know, I... Because if you're in a fight to just try to destroy the ships, Yeah, you get experience and you get stuff like that, but, you know, the trade-off to me is, I mean, I'd rather, like, if I sunk the ship, I'm not going to get anything for it other than experience or stuff. So, I mean, I'd rather capture it and then sell it in rep, because it might give me 10 rep, I think, or I don't know what, it, I can't remember what it gives me. Oh yeah. All right, so it's a victory. It's a victory, yes. Yeah, I captured five of their ships. Remember the first one that went out into the red zone, that little one? So they had 12 ships. 500 guns, 4,000, I had 3,488, 328 guns, 5 ships. So I only lost 562, so that is, I think, really good. And I know they had, five, they had just about 500 on that ship, so if I don't get any prisoners from that... I mean, I think you should get prisoners when you take over a ship, you know, and they had 500 on it and they gave up. So I hope, I hope at least they gave me the rifles or something. Let's find out. And like I said, the only two objectives were get these two ships, get them into the red zone, and then you can send your whole fleet into the red zone and not fight if it's too hard for you. So here we go. You can see these ships. They had 68, uh, 78, and 78. And then I got those two, go two, two supply ships, or transport ships, or whatever. And this guy, yeah, he was a 28-gun ship. So he, he was not a... I think he must have been a uh, six-rate, maybe? So yeah, yeah. unfortunately, like he was too close to the red zone. There's no way of me capturing, catch, catching him. And he just ran off into the red zone and disappeared. So here's my two fifth rates. And here's my ardent. And here's my two bellononas. So yep. And all the ships had light damage. Yeah, because like I said, I have default guns. So we don't do a lot of damage. And... I don't normally play that way anyway because I want to capture the ships as opposed to damaging them to the point where I'd have to spend four grand to repair them if I want. Like, suppose I hurt the Bellinona. Suppose I hurt this ship, the Dover, it, and suppose I, I put 4,000 damage and I want to add that to my fleet. So I have to spend 40 or 50 rep or whatever to get the ship. And then not only that, I have to spend four grand to repair it. So that's my reasoning on that. But anyways, this is what you can see here, if, if this is what you like to look at. Officers, no one got killed, and we got two promotions. Now, the only thing I'm disappointed is, in other battles, if we capture transports, we get money. 
in this one they don't give us any money so that's too bad but notice I do have 566 guns I think it's because one Bellinona gave up with about 500 on on board so I think I got those weapons now anyways now when I get to the hub I want to see if my 888 is still there so let's see if not, it's going to piss me off. Let me see. Oh! Hey, and I got an achievement. Uh, Navy Commendation Cross. Oh, look it. I got, I got now 1,800 prisoners. So it didn't rip me off any prisoners, but... I know for a fact if I start the next battle and then if I quit the battle and go to the uh, harbor this will all disappear and that's a bug so but anyways I gotta repair my ship so but I'm so happy look at this so yes that answers my question on if you capture a ship that has 500 sailors on it and you put a prize crew to it that 500 goes away but those are prisoners so you get their guns and you get them as prisoners so look at that I had 888 and now I got 1800 prisoners but there's a glitch in the game where if I go into the next battle that don't have any prisoners they'll take all these away or if I if I quit a battle because it's either too hard for me or I didn't know it and I want to learn it and I quit it and then I get to the harbor it goes away so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and repair so let me go ahead and repair the ships because that's normally what I do so 138 not bad 344 not bad oh but 4,000 so hold on let me go in and put that point into repairs. And it's still going to cost 4000 but, you know, that's a... See, this is what I complain about um, if I damage an enemy ship that I want. Because I don't like this. Like, I do not like dropping four grand onto a ship. But I do like this class ship, so I will go ahead and do that. But that, that hurt. And a 49 is no big deal. Okay. So generally speaking. And if you look at this on um, ship repair. I, I save 15%. So anyways. Okay. So I think by just repairing the ships and stuff. I want to go ahead and save. I'll just say Mano. So all that means for me is I saved it, I repaired my ship, so I spent that money. That, that's a done deal. Now if I, if I want to go back to default, what you can do is you can go to load and you can load this Man of War Victory and you will be back at the screen of when I first came out of this battle. And so that to me is a great feature. And if you want to play Man of War again, you can go ahead and go here and start. Or if I go here, I load this and I'm before I did this battle. So I like different types of saves. So that way, if for some reason I lose this 1800 prisoners, I could load one of those and get them back and hope that the game does something good by sending me a letter so I can sell them. Because if I can sell 1,800 uh, prisoners, I'm going to get a bunch of rep or a bunch of money. So that would be really nice. But Okay, but anyways, I already saved the game. And normally I do this to uh, move on in the game or to do whatever. But I'm going to do these points of interest for you so you'll see those. But I want to show you this award that I just got. It's a Navy Commendation Cross. So that is nice. So if you look over here, I now have it right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's only two that I don't have. 
only two that I don't have in the American campaign. So I got to see what those two are. But either way, I mean, that is really nice. My favorite of all of these is this one over here. I like this one the best. And we'll see what we got. We got 17,000. That and one career point, which I already spent it. And now, let me look at my ships, right? Got 600. Got 700. And this is without doing anything to the ships. 650, 3, 3, and 4. So I think without, I don't want to uh, advance the game, but I, what I want to do at the moment, because I have to decide... What, what I'm going to do with these guys, right? So they said if you add these, then you can have more troop transports. But, look at I got, I got these Bellinonas, and, and I can actually buy one. So what's the cheapest one to buy? Matter of fact, they're both not damaged too much. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so I'm going to add that one to my fleet. Yeah, only 200 to repair it. So this the ship comes with 9-pound Armstrongs, 18-pounder Armstrongs, and 32-pounder Bogards long gun. And that's, that's what it's default with. So if I make no changes to this ship, I mean, usually what I like to do is I like to put on, well, I like the, I like boarding kits, but uh, I like this one here, but, but it's going to cost me 10 grand. You know, that kind of sucks, but I'll do it. And now we're going to need officers. And wow, I have no officers. That's not good. Now, do I have any rifles? Well, I got 741 of these. Seven hundred forty one and without buying a rifle I won't have to spend rep. And now I have a, a another Bellinona to my fleet. We'll call that USS. Dover, okay. So now what I could do Well, we're going to definitely sell this one off because I don't want another third rate. And I can get, yeah, I can get, okay, yeah, so look. So this third rate, um, uh, um, Ardent class, right? It costs 40 to have it. But if you sell it, you get 20. I thought it was 10, but you get 20. Look at that, 20. So I, I have nine rep. I sell that. Now I have 29 reps, so that's really good. Now, I don't necessarily think I need these ships, but they will give me 10 and 10, and that'll give me 40, and then I can add this ship to my fleet. So as, as much as I would like to have another transport ship that you can put guns on. Um, I, I think. Because it's going to cost 20. And I got 20. I could have one of these. But 
it's too good of a chance to give up another a Bellanona. You know what I mean? Like I, I like the Bellanonas, so I mean So I honestly think I, I need to get rid of these. And now I got 49, so uh, I got 40, so I can I can now buy this. I just won't be able to put a crew on it or offices because I have none. But I can add it, uh, rip, and it only costs that much. So, so I ha I have that ship. Now my fleet. Yeah, look, it's gonna cost 23,000. Like I'm, I'm minus twenty three thousand. So if I don't do anything, I'm gonna lose twenty three thousand when I make next turn, which will be coming up shortly. I'm gonna lose that. So, um, while I'm still doing this video and showing you this, like I normally could end this, but I did say I wanted to show you those points of interest before I end this. So. I just need to have, um, let me see these ships for a minute. All right, so I have this Ardent. Now I could sell this Ardent and, and then I would have four. Yeah, like I, yeah, I could do that, right? But wait a minute. And this is all on that save that I did. So, I mean, if I make a mistake, I can always reload it and redo all this. But, okay, let's say I want to get rid of the Connecticut. So I'll dump those to the reserves. And I'll drop these two guys out. And I will get rid of that. That'll, that'll, I think that gives me 23. Let's see. Yeah, now I'm up to 28. I'll drop the guns out. And now I have some guys in the reserves from this ship. And I can go to the... Yeah, you know, I don't necessarily like the Unity class. So say I go to uh, Bangor and I drop them out. And I drop these officers out. Drop these guns. Drop these upgrades. That'll give me back 5,000. Now the Dennis, I'm going to leave alone for now. Because later on, I could turn this one into a, a fire ship if I want. But with Bangor and Connecticut, I can now go to the shop and sell them. Yeah, so Bangor, I'm going to get 17,000. And Connecticut, I'm going to get 12. So that bumps me up. And now I can go to this ship. And I can put this captain on. And put this commander on this commander that lieutenant and this midshipman so i have you know five you know one two three four five out of six so that's not bad it doesn't cost me anything because those came off the other ships and now i have the reserves i can get this 155 but now i gotta find guns and this is all doing all this without spending any more rep because I blew like a ton of rep to get those two ships. But anyways, I'm just going to look here for any guns that I have. I have 200 of those. 200, you know, 200 there. Um, I'm hoping I have more than that. 296. Oh, I got 400 of these. Okay, so now what I could do 
is if I want to get this one up there to optimal, it's going to cost me 3 rep and 11,000 for those guns, but it would create a... and I get two perks. So it would, it would make a pretty good thing to do, I think. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Or, wait, let me see about, where does it drop off to four? Oh, but it's overloaded. Okay, well, let me go to here and put on Unified Goods. Okay, so four right here. So if I drop off... Okay, so at 705 it drops to 3. So I will burn 3 rep just so I have 705 on this ship. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to burn my 3 rep. And I will give them up 2 perks. I always give this one because I, I want them to have better morale. And here... The ship only goes eight. So I'm gonna see if it can go a little bit faster. And now that bumps it up to 11. So anyways, um, now I have another Bellinona ship added to my fleet. And I think now I'm ready to um, do those points of interest. Now that I have Two, two new Bellinonas into my fleet. And I sold off two of the smaller ships. And, and I have 1,800 prisoners and I have 39,006. So I think, yeah, I mean, I, I wonder if I should. Let me do uh, an, a, a save. Because I did a lot, like if you looked at that, and now we got to do these. Oh, wow, look at four ships. Oh, boy. They usually are two or three. Now it's four. Let me see. What about this one? Oh, they all moved up. Yep, they all moved up to four ships. Wow. Okay. So these are going to be bigger side mission battles. Well, let's do this one. All right, well, let's put in my Bellinonas. I'll put two Bellinonas in. Oh, wow, it says 100%. That's kind of weird. I'll put another one in. That's kind of weird, huh, that it did 100%? Alright. Alright, well, let me... All right, I'm going to try it. Hey, after all, these are Bellinonas, right? And it's 1,300, 156 guns. So I'll, I'll go ahead and set that. Like, I, I don't know how this is going to go, but it already says 100%. So on this one, I'm going to put in another Bellinona. And that says 100%. So maybe here I'll put in uh, the Finch and the Dominion. Okay. That way they'll get some experience too, right? And then this one. I'll pull in another Bellinona uh, with the Ardent. That's a hundred percent. Wow, all right. 
Like, oh no, let me... Let me withdraw this one for a minute. Yeah, that way I put in all my ships. I don't care. <laughs> Let's see what happens, right? Okay, so I have this one with only two ships. This one with four ships. And this one with four ships. So let's see. Because I said I would, I would do these before ending the video. Alright, so I did it. And I got 51,021 reps. See, now I only had like, uh, what was it, like 7 or 8 rep left? So let's see what we got with this one. Got 11,005 rep, light, light, and the ship was sunk. And the ambush was sunk, and I got 11,000 in that. An ally request, 11,005 rep, none, none, light, none, heavy, 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 you know, sunk, sunk, whatever, okay. So we sunk two of their ships and heavy. So no matter what configuration you saw me put in there, which I was skeptical about at first. Oh, so this is just a report of that battle. If you want to read it, go right ahead. I just pause it. I mean, uh, this mission is this uh, this video is long, and we shall never forget the Boston massacre. The Egg Harbor. So if you want to read that, go right ahead. It's kind of like historical information and stuff. It's kind of cool. And um, and let's take a look at our ships. We have to repair a few. 298. 592. Oh, that one got hurt. 291. 45. 130. And 138, and I still got 49,000. Now, this one needs troops. Uh, these two guys, I will just um, put the minimum on for right now. I think for these guys, it's only 50 is the minimum. Yep. And this one needs to go to 50. But a Fusler is 60. The minimum is 60. Oh. And these guys, I usually have them to... to 125. Uh, no. Uh, where is it? I'm just going to run through my ships one more time. I mean, look at these guys, man. Dennis is on a minimum crew at the moment. And I might someday turn him into a fire ship. Alright, so that... Yeah, the fleet looks good. Oh, maybe I can buy an officer now. Yeah. Well, I don't have to buy him. He was a reserve that got better, so... Alright, I think I think my fleet looks good uh, in shape. It's in good shape. So we will go ahead and end this uh, video. Alright, so anyways... I just put that after the points of interest. So anyways, I want to thank everybody for watching. Whoever is. Um, always be nice to each other. Be kind. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're in good health and you're doing good. Be kind to each other so other people will be kind to you. Have a great day, whether it's your morning, your afternoon, your evening. 
God bless to you in your own religion, of course. Because I feel all religions are equal. We don't want to fight each other. We want to be peaceful and loving. So anyways, this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.